you know, before I let you up out of here, I got a, a couple of questions um, real quick. Nelly, um, do you still hear from him? No, nah, I haven't heard from him in a while. Uh, no, sir. Understood. It, it came out, I think, yesterday, um, maybe the day before yesterday. He sold part of his catalog, $50 mm -hmm. million. Did you get to read that? Oh, uh, yeah, I heard about it. I seen people sent it to me. I seen it on my timeline. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 50 mil for 50% 50 of your catalog, that's not a bad deal. It's a great deal. It's that's a great, great deal. deal. I, 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 this ain't nothing about the 50 million. This ain't nothing about Nelly. This is about our, our people. And because I was reading comments and stuff on certain things, on certain, you know, on certain blogs. And the comments where people were saying, stupid, man, I wouldn't sell my mask and this. That's for your family, family. Boy, hey, man, all y'all need to cut it out. Like, quit playing in life. You're talking like that because you don't have a catalog. It's easy to talk like that. But if you saw an ASCAP check or if you saw how your publishing checks come in, and they come in, publishing checks come in twice a year, ASCAP checks come in, ASCAP or BMI checks come in maybe nine times out of out of year, nine months out of year. It's three three months off, and in between those, those three months, you get sound sound exchange checks. So the sound exchange is those three months that come in between those ASCAPs. Then you got a pub that comes twice a year now. It used to be four times. Now it's two times a year. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now what they're doing is. Those companies that's buying these catalogs and buying different things, they're adding up how much you're making per year for your thing. You don't have to give away everything. You can give away just your sound exchange or just your ASCAP part of it. And you can just give a percentage of it. You only have to get a whole thing of that up. And you still getting your publishing from the other stuff, still getting royalties from this and that. Sound exchange still coming. And you can sell it. They say he sold 50% of his, of his catalog. That means he still got 50% of it, but we don't know what, it's, it's the music business. So 50% could be of 2%. You feel what I'm saying? He could own 2% of this song and y'all just split 2% and they cool with it. And he got 50 million out of it up front. Cause we don't know where money going. It don't know where pandemic, after the pandemic, everybody should not, should at least entertain that conversation about your catalog. You don't know where this stuff gonna be talking about leaving something for your family. You leave the money in. It's gonna be way more worth than that. How do you know? Cause they not giving you nothing you not worth. You feel what I'm saying? Like if you don't think they did the math on adding that up to see how much I'm finna give you for the next 30 years or whatever your deal is, then you stupid. They know what they doing people, it's money. You know what I'm saying? Like stop talking to that little boy talk. I hate that little small talk people be talking like. Well, somebody gave you 50 mil up front and you were only getting maybe 75,000 a year off of what they talking about. You know how many 75s you got to get to get to 50 million? Yeah. Why, why I'm finna, I might die tomorrow. Why I'm gonna wait for that? What do it look like waiting for y'all? So I can, you can say, leave your catalog. Well, if music stop, ain't no damn catalog no more. Now what? What if they blow it up? What if they use it and make so much money off of it? So what? Why are you worrying about the, what the uh, plug doing? Like, how much did you get out of the deal? That's your. That's what you negotiate. What do you want? So if you want more, get more. And don't settle. But don't think these people stupid when they be getting Lil Wayne 100 million. Man, now, when I'm going to sell it? Right now? What happened? I'm going to get 100 million today in my account over me waiting 40, 50, 60 years to even barely see 100? You ain't gonna see that honey. What am I talking about? Why am I talking to these people? He ain't finna see the 50. So why not get it now? And he still got his percent, um, percentage left. That's what it says. You know what I'm saying? I'm going off the timeline too. Yeah, yeah. But like, I just wanted people to realize when Jermaine, when everybody's selling, doing what they doing, like, dog, this is the smartest move they could have done. Y'all ain't thinking about the people who buying it. Y'all ain't say nothing to them. They doing it just because they buying it like art. They buying it like, I got so much money. My company has so much money that I have to put it somewhere. What's the best way to put it? Because there ain't no more art. Jay-Z bought it all. What else yeah. we going to do? We got, what can we buy? All this buy catalogs, y'all. You know what Michael Jackson been doing all his life. 
what everybody else who's smart been doing. They've been buying catalogs, like getting firms together and buying catalogs. Lawyers have been doing it forever. People, it's the same thing as a publishing company. Now, people who mad are Universal Publishing, um, Sony Publishing. Um, these publishing companies are pissed because you got an outside source that don't even know nothing about music buying catalogs when they want to buy them. And we say no to them all the time. You always say no to the publishing company because they come with some janky stuff every time. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. But these companies who just invest in, they're like, shit, I got a billion to spare. Let me buy five catalogs. That's going to be supposedly worth this amount when we go into AI and metaverse and all this stuff in the future. It's going to get played. Don't You best believe they buying it for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Because they know what's next. We didn't know what was next. Streaming came. We didn't know nothing about streaming. We still don't know. They still don't pay people right now. They don't know how to pay us. But what's next? Oh, they heard about it. They know about it. So they're buying up catalogs. You feel what I'm saying? But just because you keep your catalog, though, this, let me mark some Mr. Artists and all you people out there who not selling their catalog, who want to keep their masters that they can't control. You can own your masters all you want, but you don't know what to do with them. It don't matter. You don't, so lease, you don't know how to lease it. You don't know what the paperwork is to sign it. They do. So they doing that. They okay with leasing out your music and making sure that it gets clear when people drop or sample your stuff in that nature. You don't know what you're doing with your masters. You feel what I'm saying? So you do need a partnership in somebody doing because they can work it for you. Because you just sitting at home with it ain't doing no good. So you can hold it all you want to. But if ain't nobody playing it, it's still zero. You feel what I'm saying? Yep, so when yep. they come in with these people, man, go get your money, man. Get what you can get out these folks. Like, don't hold that back. I hate when people do that. All that. Them, them in the same conversations of don't have a job and rap and all that. Like, man, get you a job if you need a job. Man, work. Like, don't make people feel like entrepreneurs versus people who work job. Man, go get you a career if you can go get you a career, man. Don't be playing with these people. Entrepreneurs got the hardest time of their life. Everybody can't be entrepreneurs. You Somebody has to work for somebody. So stop it. Like, stop that talk because you're scaring these kids away from doing certain things. Now, we all should be doing entrepreneur stuff, even on the side or whatever you need to do because to, you're going to need more than one stream of money. But don't let people talk you out of that. You know what I'm saying? Signing to labels, selling your masters. Man, dude, you go, you might die tomorrow, bro. Fuck all that. And you talking about it's for your family. Your family don't even like you half of the time. Like, stop. Like, I ain't saying they don't. They do or don't. I'm just telling you, like, don't don't put that on your shoulders. Like, we we wait, but wait it on us. Like, we got to take care of the whole hood. Black people, we, we wait it on us. All our millionaires. That's on us heavy as black men with fire. You don't have to take care of nobody but yourself and your kids. You're not obligated to take care of your parents. You're not obligated to take care of nobody but yourself. They, Your parents raised you to be able to take care of yourself. So you can take care of yours, your kids. And it should go on, flow on, and so on. Don't be expecting nobody to be trying to change generations. I'm trying to change generational wealth. All right, well, do it. If you take care of yourself and you take care of yourself and you take care of yourself, everybody take care of themselves. That's generational wealth because now we all can put our stuff together in life. But when one person doing it, he can't put that on that man back like that. Leave that people alone. Leave these folks alone. That's why I told you it's our first generation of having money. So we don't know no better. We think it's get the money, go buy your mama a house and car because <laughs> she took care of you. Go do this, go do that. That's what everybody did. Every, I did it. Everybody do it. That's what you think is supposed to be done. But in actuality, if you worked at just General Motors or something, ain't nobody even calling you about no generational wealth. They ain't even talking to you. That's right. <laughs> they ain't That's what right. your 401k, what your 401 look like. <laughs> they don't care. But because you're famous and these monies can come across people's timeline, they feel like they can say something about it. But in actuality, bro, go get your bread. You might not see that 50 million. I promise you won't. Out of checks coming that's barely coming every year. You know what I'm saying? One mess up, somebody can come grab that money and take it from you. Somebody can sue you tomorrow and take all of it. Like, don't, 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 don't do not do that. Don't do that. All you artists out there, if these people come in in the correct way, make sure it's correct and go get your bread if you got to. If it's something, because they got different deals, five-year deals, 30-year deals, for life deals, whatever you choose for yourself. But don't be like, man, I want my kids to have my masters. I mean, not even your masters, because these folks ain't even talking about masters. They talking about publishing. All right. You have a percentage of publishing. The producer get 50 off tops. 
So we splitting 50. If you got other people on your song, your shit is here. So we talking about 25% of songs a lot of times these people, these artists be owning. And then the company come in and say, I, I want 50% of that. That's nothing. These people finna give me 50 mil up front for nothing. Okay, stop, so stop, they stop. Gotta stop they don't care about money. They don't care about 50 million. So they put that, that's like putting 50 million in a IRA or something. That's what they're doing. So it keep gaining. Every year we get $100,000. Until we get our 50 back and it makes profit. We don't care because that 50 was nothing. I just have to put my money up so the government won't take it. I have to put it, invest it. I have to do something with it. So what should I do? Buy a catalog. It's easy money. It's easy to do, but they not gonna get their money to 50, 30 years. You feel me? Like, so why not go sell that shit, sell all that shit? I ain't you, sold my still got all mine. I got mine. Everything he sold, I still got my percentages of it. So I'm I know what what I still have. But when the time comes, if it if it come correctly, man, that shit gone. I want mine up front. I don't want to wait on something. Why would you want to do that? Think about it. A bank, if a bank come to you and say, I'm I'm gonna give you, I can give you 50 million up front, or I can give you uh 50,000 a year for the next 50 years. Exactly. You having money, you might choose the 50,000. No, you wouldn't, fuck that. We choose, get your money, man. Go get the 50. Cause you can do whatever you need to do with that 50, right or wrong. We can do whatever we want to do. All the investments, all the money I want to put up. I can put up a hundred a month for myself. <laughs> pay myself out the hundred, just like they was going, just like Ask I've been paying me. Why not just pay myself with the 50? If I won't, don't want to be broke in the future. If you want to look at it like that, you feel what I'm saying? Like, don't let people count your bread, man. I don't know why I'm talking so long on that, but that's all I wanted to say. I was just no. like, man, we're letting pe leading people on and they don't know what they be talking about. I posted that today. I said, I said, I said, it's funny how <laughs> how people can be so wrong, like, and just like stand on it. Like. <laughs> like just act like they know what it was acting like you know what you're talking about like you we so boy i said the moment we realize we don't know what we talking about <laughs> it'll be a better nation <laughs> you don't even know what you don't even got no real input on this subject why are you talking it's just like comment after comment just talking i wouldn't have done none of it i'd have kept my man my grandkids need that yeah they need that 50 now Somebody told me money finna leave. They said it was finna be a new dollar. Why wouldn't I want my 50 dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going by farmland. I'm out this month. I'm finna flip it the whole nine. But why wait on the flip when you can get it up front? We silly. We stupid. We got to wake up, people. And I know it's new to us. And it's only our people. It's new to us. We the only people care about money. Other cultures don't even care about money. We care so much about it. So since we care about it, let's learn it. We're playing with life. We playing because you leading little kids on. You leading people on who read. Don't lead nobody on. You know how a rumor can sound like the truth. If we all just keep saying it and saying it. Yep. And that's what's going on. Like we all agreeing to that. No, stop now, y'all. Stop now. Or we gonna lose. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna lose. <laughs> stop. If y'all want some togetherness, stop that right now. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't say it. I'm not finna be talking about plumbing and all that and I don't know nothing about them pipes. <laughs> Leave plumbing alone, bro. You don't know nothing about plumbing, but somebody does. Let them have that dope conversation. Let them have it. Have you ever heard engineers have conversations with each other, be talking all that button talk and all that? You got the new PS3 look for it. Let them have that talk. That's to the world. That's a lesson for the world. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.